Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. And um, thanks for joining me for our first session on Zoho Campaigns. So, OK, here's a quick look at the agenda for what we're going to cover. Um, Zoho Campaigns is the email marketing software within the Zoho suite of applications. And uh, in this first session, I'm going to go over some of the basic features that we offer. I'll walk you through the steps of creating your email campaign and sending that to a list of your subscribers. And um, before we jump into that live demo inside Zoho Campaigns, I'm going to go over some of the benefits of using email marketing. And if you haven't started a strategy yet, why it may be beneficial for your brand communications. All right, so why email marketing? Um, there's a lot of different digital communication options out there, um, but why is this one in particular one of the most effective means of doing that? Um, well, over the last couple of years, um, of course, there's been a lot of studies that have been done, um, but continually, email ranks as the number one preferred communication channel for consumers. Um, now, how many of you are currently using email as a way of reaching out to your leads or talking to your customers? OK, so um, it's a good number. And you probably are very consumed with your subject lines, the content, uh, and how you are selling your brand. Um, and while that's good, you also really need to keep in mind what that means for your consumers and how they're benefiting from your email communication. Um, now, in terms of being introduced to a product, uh, email is a great way to begin to talk to those leads and those prospects. Um, they can go on a website, search for products, but um, receiving an email from you initially is a great way to be introduced to your company. In addition to that, um, once they have found a need for your product or service, receiving more information on that and helping them through the sales cycle is something that they can really benefit from via email. And of course, once they have um, made a purchase of your product or service, following up with them through email is um, less invasive than cold calling. You can really target your content and segment your subscriber base um, to send them the most relevant in information for them. So to put email in a bigger perspective with other digital communications, um, this graph shows uh, the percentage of customers that you can acquire through these methods. Um, of course, organic search is the top. Uh, that's why SEO is very important for brands. Um, cost per click is the next highest one, and email ranks just below that. Um, compared to, at the very bottom, social media and banner ads, where your message is going out to a very mass audience, you don't generate that lead quality and acquire as many customers as you would if you really target them and personalize with email. Um, and just a couple more stats to drive that home. In 2014, email marketing was cited as the most effective digital marketing channel for customer retention in the US. So the slide before this showed the percentage of customers acquired and how it's great for that. But once you acquire those leads and help them through the buying process, retaining those customers and really maintaining that relationship is very important. Also, 66% um, of consumers have made a purchase online as a result of an email marketing message. Um, again, making that outreach to them Putting that information right in their inbox from your end is something that can really help you um, gain more customers. So with all that in mind, um, let's now go into the Zoho Campaigns product, and we'll see how to get started with that. Um, now here are our recommended steps for creating the most effective campaign possible. Um, we highly recommend that you start thinking of your audience first. So that will consist of building your mailing lists, uh, you can segment your subscribers based on geography, um, industry, company, age, and just really think about your audience first before you craft your message. Mm -hmm. um, from there, we're going to see how to design your content. And we'll look at the pre-designed templates inside Zoho Campaigns, and also an option for you to import your own. And once we build our content, we can then send our campaign. Um, there's a couple different scheduling options for you there. And um, we're also going to talk about email deliverability a little bit later today. And that's to ensure that your email is authentic and that the recipients receive your campaigns. Another really important step is to analyze the results. So a main advantage of using Zoho campaigns over um, just sending emails on your own or using other software is the in-depth reports that we offer. And that's great to learn more about your subscriber base, see what content works the most for your brand and your audience. Um, and continually improve upon your open rates over time. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the demo. Um, so for those of you first starting out with Zoho Campaigns, when you first log in, um, this is the Getting Started page that you see. 
And as I said, the easiest way to get started is to make your mailing list first. So to do that, you're going to go to the Contacts tab. Under List Management, you can see I already have a couple different mailing lists in my account. And to create a new one, there's an option here on the right. Um, now, for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to import a list of subscribers that I have in an Excel sheet on my computer. Um, and I'm just going to send them a welcome email about my company. So when you name your mailing list, you just, this is just for your reference so you know which subscribers are in this list. Now, the option to add a sign-up form. Um, maintaining a clean mailing list is really important when you're building your campaigns. One great way to ensure you have the right subscribers is to add a sign-up form to your website or blog. And this will allow any website visitors to sign up for this particular mailing list. So if you know that you'd like to do that for this campaign, you would want to select Allow. And uh, here in a little bit, I'll show you where you can set up a sign-up form for that. However, if you know this is just going to be a closed list, you're not going to add any more subscribers, then you would just choose the to not allow a sign-up form option. OK, so I can add my new subscribers manually. Um, but as I said, the easiest way is to import a file from your computer. And I have an Excel file here that I have gathered on my own. And then, of course, you want to map your fields. So in this case, I have their email address that I'm going to bring in. But you may have their first name, last name. Um, and of course, having their first name is a great idea because you can then personalize the greetings in your content. OK, so now my new subscribers have been added to my account. Another option that we have is to sync contacts. So if you like to integrate Zoho campaigns with your Zoho CRM account, you can bring in that lead and contact information, create a mailing list from that, and then send your email campaigns to those leads and contacts. Um, all right, so we now have our mailing list. As you can see, the new subscribers is what I just created. Now let's get into our content. So I'm going to go to the Email Campaigns tab, I'm going to create a new campaign. And the first thing you do is fill out the basic details. So the name of the campaign, again, this is just for your reference. Um, so name it uh, with your subscribers in mind. And the subject. Now, of course, this is very important for an effective campaign. Um, really keep in mind, because this is the first impression that goes to your subscribers, and this is what they'll see in their inbox on that first line. And in the best practices session, I'll kind of go into more detail as to what a really solid subject line contains. Okay, then a sender name that your recipients will recognize. And be sure that the sender and reply to email are authenticated. Now for creating your content. Um, as I said, we do have several pre-designed templates available in campaigns. And um, one main reason we recommend that you start off with those is that they're responsibly designed. So the formatting and text will adjust depending on the device that your recipients use to view your campaign. Um, so if you're a little inexperienced in making your own responsive templates, we definitely suggest that you do that. You can, of course, import your own, whether from your computer or the cloud. And you can build one from scratch using our editor. So I'm just going to choose one of our pre-designed templates. So before we had all of our templates responsibly designed, we had a category just for mobile templates. Um, but we've since made all of our templates responsibly designed. OK, so here in the editor mode, of course, you can um, change any of the content, the format, change the background colors and the layouts. Um, but we like to give you these templates just as a way to help you get started. The merge tags is a good option for you to try out. Um, you can see here this template by default has the first name tag. So this is great to um, personalize your content, address each of your recipients by their first name. However, you do want to make sure that you have that value for everyone on your mailing list. Otherwise, they may see Dear Customer or Dear Default Field. And that, of course, would have the opposite effect that you want. Uh, you also have the option to save this to your library. So if it's a newsletter or a campaign that you send out on a regular basis, um, it's good just to save time and save this. So you can access it later. So once I've made the content the way I like, I can save and close. And now we can choose our recipients. 
One thing to point out here, um, it's really important that you test your campaigns. So you see an option here on the right to send a test email to yourself, send it to a couple colleagues, um, access it on different devices, different browsers, just to make sure that the content is good to go. All right, so now I can select the mailing list that we just created. Now this is another important stage. Uh, you see that we asked you to send your campaign in for review. Uh, this goes to our support team and ensures that your subject, your content, everything complies by the anti-spam laws. Again, this is very important and we do this for your benefit. Um, it's one of the advantages of using campaigns versus just sending emails on your own. It does take um, a couple minutes anywhere from like two minutes, max 20 minutes. Um, and again, that's something that we do for you. You can click refresh to see the status as to when it's done being reviewed. Or we will also send you an email letting you know that it's ready to be sent out. Okay, so while this one's being reviewed, I'm just gonna go back. This one has already been reviewed. And you can see the sending options that we have. I can choose to send my campaign immediately or schedule it for a later date and time. So if I know that all my recipients are in a different time zone, I can schedule it to be sent out at a good time for them. Uh, we do recommend you do this step at least 24 hours in advance so that all the time zones are covered. So you don't want to be stuck at the last minute missing one of the times. And again, um, before you send out, send another test email to yourself, and that's a good practice. And that's how you uh, create and send your email campaign. Now I'm gonna show you uh, at the last part of this demo here, the reports that we have. So under the reports tab, I'm gonna open up uh, a demo campaign we sent out earlier this week. You're brought to a nice summary view of the success of that campaign. So I can see the delivery rate, uh, if there were any bounces, the unique opens and clicks on any content, the emails open by time and location, and on the right, there's some more individual reports that we highly recommend that you check out. So recipient activity. This is a great way to learn a bit more about your subscribers and how they engage with your campaigns. I can see who in particular have opened or unopened the campaign. And a nice follow-up option that we have here is to create a chain campaign to these recipients who have opened the original campaign. So this option here to email open recipients. And this will walk you through the same steps as you would to create a regular campaign. Okay, another report to check out is the link click activity. So if you send out a campaign that's very content heavy and links back to um, your website or different uh, products or services that you offer, it's good to see the kind of engagement that each of those can have. The link click details, so if I want to know who in particular engaged or clicked on a particular link, I can see that. The user agent report, um, this is good to know which devices your recipients are using to view your content. Of course, more and more people are using their mobiles to check your emails, um, but just you know, kind of keep an eye on this report. It will help you know, you know what images, if you should include any videos, but if everyone is viewing on their mobile device, you definitely want to keep that in mind when creating your content. Okay, one last thing that I do want to show you real quickly is our automation features. So autoresponders are automatic emails that you can send out based on certain criteria. I did mention a sign-up form. So if you have a sign-up form on your website, you would want each of those new subscribers who add themselves to your list to automatically re receive an email welcoming them to your list. So you can set that up here. Um, another good one to point out is the email action. So when you send out a master campaign and you have a link back to your website, um, everyone who clicks on that link can receive an automatic follow-up campaign. Um, so email action is definitely one that um, we recommend that you try out if you want to automate your entire marketing process. Now I did mention sign-up forms. Um, let me show you where to set that up. When I go back to contacts and take the mailing list that we created at the beginning, there's an option under more actions to create a sign-up form. Okay, and we recently updated this feature, so um, if you haven't checked it out recently, you'll notice that it looks a bit different. We have a basic sign-up form or some more um, advanced ones. And we show you exactly how the button will look on your page, so you can choose one that fits your site. 
And of course, customize that to match your branding. And then you can set and customize the responses. So when someone signs up for this mailing list, uh, you can choose the page that shows up after they do that. You can redirect them to a custom URL. You can customize that confirmation email that they receive upon signing up. So once you have all that set, you can then generate the code, and this is where you will copy and paste it into your website. All right, so I walked you through the basic steps of getting started. Thank you so much for being here.